Gang's HeartGirl26 here, back with a brand new episode of Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke. So if you guys saw Monday's episode, you know that we took on Team Aqua in the Seafloor Cavern. We was, had uh, Kyogre wake up and came to Sutopolis where we saw Kyogre and Groudon fighting it out. And met with Wallace who told us we need to go find Rayquaza. So that is what we're going to do today. Let's do a quick team recap and proceed from there. So, first off, we have Shelly the Blastoise at level 45. She has the Synchronize ability, has a Quiet Nature, holding Mystic Water, has Surf, Rain Dance, Bite, and Dive. Next, we have Raffi the Torkoal at level 41. He has Shadow Tag and a Jolly Nature. He has the Charcoal and has Flamethrower, Protect, Ember, and Strength. Next, we have Armor the Larion, who has Pure Power, has a Gentle Nature. Has the Metal Coat, and it has Metal Claw, Headbutt, Iron Tail, and Rock Smash. Next, we have Speedy the Hypno at level 40. He has Speed Boost, a Jolly Nature, Holding the Leftovers, has Confusion, Poison Gas, Meditate, and Hypnosis. Next, we have Shadow the Houndoom. She's at level 33. She has Levitate, a Serious Nature. It's not holding anything, but has Ember, Bite, Smog, and Roar. And last but not least, we have Tengu the Shift Tree at level 34. He has a Runaway ability, has a Docile Nature, so an Experience Share, and has Pound, Harden, Growth, and Nature Power. So that is the team currently. So let's go off and find Rayquaza so we can stop this pointless fighting and proceed. And I don't know if we'll be able to take on the gym today. So... If not, definitely the next episode will be the gym. And how am I looking on balls? I want to check that out. Ultra balls. I'm going to buy some more ultra balls just because I can never have too many. And it'd be kind of nice. Maybe we could catch something. You never know. We might run into something amazing. All right. So how many can we get? Eight. All right. We'll buy eight. Okay. Perfect. Oh, my nose is running. Oh, but I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. I am myself. Uh, well, I just woke up not that long ago, but I'm having a pretty decent one. See? Yeah. Gotta love that. Alright, so we're gonna do this. Do, do, do. Yes, I would like to dive. Alright, I don't remember where to go. So, we're gonna have some fun. I'm probably going to get lost in this episode like uh, previous episodes, but that's all in fu good fun, you know? Alright, so let's see. Oh, I should have bought repels. Hi, Pikachu! We're just going to speed up because I kind of want to get there as fast as I can. Alright, Route 127. Alright. Oh, I didn't know I had to battle you. Alright, actually I haven't lost against anybody, so I don't have a rival I hate losing against yet. Alright, so we got Schoolgirl Scarlet, who has a mawile, that's fine. And let's see, I was telling you about my day, like I said, I just woke up and it's once again cloudy. Oh, uh, owie, that one hurt. Uh, it's cloudy, bit rainy, cold, typical November, or November, wow, I skipped a month. October, here where I live, so nothing new about that. A dust skull, we're gonna keep you out, because you have bite. Alright. Yes, I know the rain continues to fall, bite. Alright, perfect. And let's go down, up, yep, there's that metatite. So, I asked you guys, how does this fly, and... One of my heartlings, Daniel, being a smart aleck that he is, said, by an airplane. Well, okay. Technically, all Pokemon fly by that if they fit in an airplane. If they fit in an airplane, you gotta... Oh, it's Chucky! Well, that would've been nice, but oh well. Alright. Chucky again! Alright. Okay, isn't 129 a new route? I gotta check. On my list. Oh, did I just run away from an encounter? Uh-oh. I ran away from Shucky. My Shucky was my encounter and I ran away from it. Shoot. Oh, well. So let... This is a new route as well. 
Route 128 ran Route 129 Okay Well I guess we don't get Shucky And our route Our encounter for this route is A Diglett Uh Ah, uh, no. Ran. No. I don't want a Diglett. It's a good level, though, but no. Nah, no Diglett for me. How do I get over there? Oh, did I go the wrong way? Okay. Let's go over here. Down. Oh, wait. I want up. Once again, Diglett. Diglett, go away. Oh, uh, I didn't mean to run into her, but that's okay. So... I guess no new encounter today. I mean, we're getting a legendary, so I'm not too worried. I like how you have a ground type on the water. But he's... So, I, I wanted a serious answer, you know? Like how birds can fly with their wings. Um, other critters can glide instead of flying. But no, give me a funny... Or a lot... A, a literal answer. I was trying to figure out how it's itself can fly without the help of an airplane or a glider like because i said the ears and i'm like does it well it could be like i um i was on i think i was on facebook or tumblr but i was reading i was reading some stuff and someone posted something about for D, &D where they had a campaign they were climbing up a mountain oh, route 130 is a new route gotta mark that down before i continue my story so let's go to Route 133, 130, 130, boop, okay, not 133, 130, alright, so we're gonna surf over here, alright, our encounter for this route is, <sighs> I don't want it, I'm not getting good encounters now, let's see, Hoping I had an Azumarill or a Meryl, but I guess no Azumarill. Rip. Okay. And I'm just gonna put Rand from that one. Alright, but continue my story. So there was a campaign that these people were doing, and they were climbing up a very ter uh, heavy or a snow filled mountain. It was very snowy, it was really bad weather. And the dwarf ended up slipping getting a roll and ended up slipping. So the DM, or GM depending, asked, how, what do you do? How do you survive this? And the dwarf's like, I have no other options, so I'm gonna go, I flap my arms really, really hard. The GM's like, what? I flap my arms really, really hard. So he's like, all right, roll. The guy rolls a nat 20, asks him to roll again. Rolls another nat 20, Roll. asks him to roll one more time, and he rolls another nat 20. So, the GM literally had to go, it is um, beyond your comprehension, but you guys see this dwarf all of a sudden start ri- Oh, I could have got a sunflora. That would have been a uh, doops. Or species, because I have a sun card. But you see this dwarf start flapping his arms really, really, really hard and start flying up the mountain. Against all known logic, he starts flying up this mountain. And I thought it was funny, because that's something- Dang it! That's just- what gives why I kind of like D&D, where you can have those random uh, moments, something like that. Or like I mentioned on Monday's episode, my sister chucking bacon at a disembodied face in the water. So, you get funny moments like that. So, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that story. But, oh, I was going, uh, trying to figure out how uh, Meditite flies. So maybe it does that. Flaps its arms really, really, really hard. Or probably uses... A Another logical reasoning would probably be it uses its psychic powers. Swab blue. We'll just stay out. So, but that's no fun. I like to fl imagine uh, Meditite flapping its arms really, 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 really hard trying to fly. I think that'd be funny. Oh, well. Alright, so let's see. And I'm, I'm getting excited because we're getting close to being at, done with this game. And I already have the next game planned up. Planned up. Planned. And, uh, another round. Dang it! Alright, we're just gonna speed up. Oh, Fanfy! It's so cute! Oh, great, now it's raining. You just made my move more powerful there, poor little Fanfy. And level 46! Alright, Tengu. Uh, 
stay out because I have a bite and you're not a fairy yet. Bye-bye. All right. Oh! Well, our, we're on Route 131 then. Or, yeah, Route 131. Where's the sky pillar? All right, is it up here? Okay, our encounter for Route 131 is... <gasps> it's a token tick. Oh, you're so cute. I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. I like token tick. All right. So we're going to just chuck a ball at you. Let's go an ultra ball. But I am okay with that. And I'm excited to see what we're going to get for our, our legendary. All right. You have metronome. That's not good. We're gonna switch. Let's go to Speedy so we can put you to sleep. Oh no. Well, we're gonna try to put you to sleep. I'm not gonna speed up because confusion is never good with me. See what I mean? Alright. Let's try this again. Come on! There we go! And it landed! Thank you! Alright. So let's just sleep. Perfect. We're gonna raise our speed. That's fine. And get some heals. All right, we're gonna go for you. And I have the perfect name for this Tokatik. Yes. Ah! Okay. So, if we can catch this, I have the perfect name for it. Come on! Yeah, that's nice. Come on! Oh, you're awake. Yes? Oh, come on! Alright, fine. We're gonna put you back to sleep. I forgot I was confused. But it lands! It breaks through, so I'm okay. Alright. I will go to 15 balls. If I can't catch it in when it gets to 15, I'm not catching it. Come on. There we go! We got him! We got him. All right, Tokyotic, the happiness Pokemon. It is said to be a Pokemon that brings good fortune. When it spots someone who is pure of heart, a Tokyotic appears and shares its happiness with that person. So I'm going to nickname this Pokemon Boo because I had one in, a Let's Pl in another Nuzlocke of mine. I'm not going to tell you the Nuzlocke because... Oops, not that. Boo, there we go. Because that's may or may not be a hint on what my next series is. So we're going to nickname you Boo. So if you guys have been around for a while, maybe, maybe not. It could be something recent. You could figure out the game I'm going to play next. So we'll have to see. And I think I made it to the Sky Pillar. Okay, Sky Pillar is a new area. All right, Sky Pillar. Perfect. Okay, let's go. I doubt I'm going to get them on. Oh, there's Wallace. Okay. Oh my, I'm terribly sorry. In my haste, I didn't notice that I left you behind. I opened the locked door of the Sky Pillar. Hart, let's be on our way. It's an earthquake. There's not a moment to waste. We got to hurry. Well, if you're going to... The situation is getting worse. This isn't good. The weather distortion is spreading even here. Hurt. Rayquaza should be farther up from here. I'm worried about Sotopolis. I got to go back. Everything is in your hands now. Don't fail us. No pressure, though. Shut up, Bowen! This is not the time for you to have an alarm go off. Oh, no. Oh, well, our encounter for Sky Pillar is... A scissor. Didn't we get a scyther though at one point? Scyther. No, we we killed the scyther. I am okay with a scissor. I am okay with a scissor. So our encounter is a scissor. I've never reviewed a scissor before. Oh, and it has false swipe. Yes. Let's speed up a little bit. Okay. Okay. Um. I'll try one more. Hopefully it doesn't kill. Okay. 
Alright, let's throw... Ultra Ball? Come on. Oh, come on! I thought we had it! Okay, a Metal Claw. Come on! You want to be on my team? Well, I don't know if I'll put you on the team, but you want to be with me, Scizor! Ugh! Alright. I am gonna risk Speedy, just so I can get him to sleep. Okay, that's fine. Alright, um, Hypnosis. Slash! Okay, we land the Hypnosis. I'm okay with that. Alright, let's throw... Another Ultra Ball. Not gonna speed this up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes! We got the Scizor! Woo! Um. What should I name you? Alright. Scizor. Pinsir Pokemon. A Scizor has a body with the hardness of steel. It is not easily phased by ordinary sort of attacks. It flats it flaps its wings to regulate its body temperature. Interesting. I'm gonna nickname you... Um... I'm gonna nickname you... I know this is gonna be... Oops, wrong, but there we go. Uh, I'm gonna nickname you Iron. Okay. I'm gonna nickname you Iron Bug. Instead of Iron Man, ha ha ha. I know it said it was made of steel, but still. Okay, there, Iron Bug. Okay, let's go. I should have brought repels, but that's okay. Oh, are we gonna have to do that stupid puzzle? Okay, Lunatone we already have, so that's fine. We could have got. We already had a uh, Slugma, so. So far, this is a. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Goodbye. <laughs> it dead. Hop poopy. Alright, let's go. We could have got Eradicate. Okay, not too bad. I like the Scizor so far the best. Yep. Alright. Bag. So we're gonna need to register my bike. Let's register. Do I go to the right one? Nope. Shoot. Okay. No, no, no! Ah! Why? Well, I, I guess I don't need it technically. Yes, I do, because I need the middle one. I think. Let me try. Nope. Okay, we're good. For some reason, I thought I would need the, uh, bike. What else could we have gotten? Splink! Splink's not bad. We the Splink would have been another good psychic, but that's okay. Alright, here we are, guys. Look at- oh! Thumbnail right there. Yes. Oh, it flew away. Oh, I thought I'd get it as an encounter. Oh, well, I'm disappointed. Oh, oh, we could have got a king draw. I just realized that uh, I forgot to get a flying Pokemon. So let's get out of here. Can I go? Nope. Could have got another Meditite. Another Meditite. I'm just speeding up. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Alright, surf. Do I want to go this way? Okay, yep. I wanted to go that way. Okay, my bad. Let's get out of here. I could have got an adult Ryan. Awesome. Okay. Alright. Is there a hidden item right here? 
Well, no, I don't get to check. Alright. Let's go surfing, and now we gotta surf all the way back because I don't have a flying type mon. Oh, what are you doing on the water? Okay. Alright, come on. How are we doing on time? That's okay. Dang it! Alright, let's just speed up. Okay. Surf. Flame. There. Dead. I know I'm speeding up, but I want to get going. Nope. Oh, there's the sun flora. That's fine. Some flora, that's fine. Go away. There's the Zuril I could have caught. Okay. Um, 129. Okay, I missed them. Okay, so we got Surf. And we're going to Strength you. You fell asleep, you stupid thing. Alright, it dead. Okay. Alright, Diglett, that's nice. Run. Nope. Oh! Oh, I could have gotten nine tails! That would have been amazing. Oh my god, stop encountering things. Or Shucky, run away. Okay, one twenty-seven. Come on, I just want to get over. All right, there we go. All right. Oh, there's Pikachu. Run away. Yes. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I like this cutscene. Alright, here we go. Yeah, stare, um, stare down. And Rayquaza is like, oh, heck no. No. Alright. <laughs> The light of God comes down onto you. That's... that's cool. Oh, that's the thumbnail right there. I know that. That's perfect thumbnail material right there. I like how Kyogre goes into the water and there goes Groudon walking away on his little dinky path of, uh, ground. But yay, I saved the Hoenn region! Woo! Bright light. Alright. Now, I also technically haven't gotten an encounter here. So I can get in another encounter. Heart! The leaders of Team Magma and Aqua, I don't think they meant harm. It wouldn't hurt to hear what they have to say for themselves. Oh, okay. Kyogre and Groudon both flew off to who knows where. The weather in Hoenn has returned to its normal state. Ha ha. Ha ha. Maybe what we were trying to do was something small, even meaningless, to Pokemon. So the super ancient Pokemon weren't only Groudon and Kyogre. After all our fruitless schemes and frantic efforts, the, that one Pokemon's simple actions put everything right. Again, as if nothing ever had happened. <laughs> okay. Heart, my eyes didn't deceive me. Thanks to your help, Sutopolis. No, all of Hoenn was saved. On behalf of the people, I say thank you. This is a gift for me. Please accept it. I got waterfall? Yep, got waterfall. Alright. Alright. Well, Looks like Maxi, blah, blah. Okay. 
Well, we are going... We have five minutes. I can't take on the gym in five minutes. But we can try to get an encounter. There we go. It's a muck! Level ten. Eh. Eh. I mean... Muck ain't bad. I'm not gonna even put it on the team, so we're not gonna worry about it. Let's run. Alright. Now we can go talk to all these people. No, I don't want to surf. The third Pokemon flew down. I feared the worst. Wow, that was wicked. Oh, it was you who brought the, that flying Pokemon here. Well, aren't you amazing? What, what, what? What is that green Pokemon? All right, we're gonna heal up though. So we can make sure our Pokemon are fit, fighting fit. Do, 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 do. Perfect. All right. Well, eh, let's heal one more time. I was off on that. Do, 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 do. Much better. <laughs> I felt off on that one, so. All right, let's go check out our Mons. And we pretty much got a few minutes to kill before the end of the episode. Okay, so let's see. We got Boo, the to Tokatik. Sorry. So we got Boo, the Tokatik, who has effect spore, quiet, doesn't hot hold anything, but has charms, metronome, sweet kiss, and yawn. And next we have Iron Bug, the Scizor, who has white smoke, prevents ability reduction. Ooh, it's relaxed. Isn't holding anything, but has false swipe, agility, metal claw, and slash. Not bad, not bad at all. Alright. Let's see what. So I think after I battle is when um, they go back to being their normal thing. So let's go all talk to all these people. So Topless City didn't get wrecked! There's an ancient legend that claims the land and sea were shaped by a colossal battle between Pokemon. Well, I saw that happen with my very own eyes. Whoa, I'd never expect to be witness to something this huge. I was wondering which one would win. The one, the blue, red one or the blue one? But oh no, it's the green one that settles things. Talk about a huge turn of events. A pretty Pokemon came down from the sky. I hope I can go in some of the houses. Like I said, I'm trying to- I'm just literally trying to kill time. The flying Pokemon came down from the sky and stopped the rampaging Pokemon. Alright. Let's see if I can get in. I can get in! Yay! Alright. The cave that links to Topless and the outside world? It seems as if the cave was made to keep something from getting out. Or am I just imagining things? An underwater volcano i'm not i'm not doing his voice i can't do an old man's voice i'm i'm horrible at doing old men's vo old man's voices all right let's go up here oh there's another house we can go into the designs of the houses are interesting you're a pokemon trainer aren't you sutopolis's wand has many fans even more than his student wallace do you have any yep oh then you must be pretty strong i have my heartlings that's who i have and my family. But my heartlings are my family, so I guess I do have my heartlings. Dedicated fans come over from even outside of Hoenn. It's really wild when I went to the trainer fan club in Lily Cove. Good for you. Alright. There appears to be some connection between Sutopolis and Mount Pyre. My friends and I did some research on it at a lab where I used to work. Interesting. My big brother used to study the sea. Okay. You guys don't give me anything for free. I want free things. Can I have something for free, please? Ooh, a Kecleon. For 30 years, I remained in Sutopolis, honing my skills. I've developed a shattering TM. I bequeath it to, to you. Oh, well, we got our TM. Woo! What TM is it? Hidden power. Did I actually just get hidden power? 31. Yep, I just got hidden power. Nice! Kecleon. 
Shut up, Bone! Alright, so... We pretty much finished this episode. We did not catch any Pokemon like I... Or, we did catch some new Pokemon. Just didn't catch the Legendary like I was assuming. It's been a while since I played uh, Emerald, if you can't tell. So, we'll have to do that later. But, we're gonna stand right here. Next to Wallace. And end the episode, because next episode, we are taking on the gym leader. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Make sure to answer the question of the day, whatever it shall be. I haven't thought of it yet. Excuse me, on. And make sure you guys moon blast that like button if you enjoyed the episode. Also, hit that notification bell and subscribe to become a heart link today. And stay up to date when I upload. Make sure to check out my Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. Links will be in the description down below. So, Twitter and Discord are the best ways to stay up to date with me. So, check them out, please. And I think that's about it. So, until next time, heartlings, 